Where did that come from? Mm. No, no, makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, do you play any instruments? The sampler. <laughs> the sampler. <laughs> Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including this guy and me. I'm Josh, and today my guest is a model, a singer, songwriter, and a rapper. Uh, he's already released his e- debut EP, Screenshot. There'll be a link down in the description so you can get your own copy. Uh, it's filled with dreamy, lo-fi synth sounds against smooth vocals, uh, full of introspection about daily life and relationships. Now working on full-length album, Rello, with a... Philosophy that I like. The vision is always there, even if you can't see it. Please welcome to the channel, Ken Trello. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. (laughs) So, right off the bat, thank you very much for coming. Uh, Thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to toast to this V8 right here. All right. That's, (laughs) it's water, mom. Oh. So, that is gross. (laughs) <laughs> that is, like that's I like I like them so you just I, I just do it, yeah, just just do it get it over chug it all the way down. I tried like heating it up like it was tomato soup. Mm-hmm. No, oh, I don't know about that. No, that's yeah, bad, though. I think I had spaghetti. It's, it's, it's a too. sipper. You don't want to. You no. don't want to chug it. I chug. I, I get rid of it. I get it over. <laughs> it. But you do you. Um, so first off, thank you very much for coming on the show. No, you're welcome. Second of all, before we get into any of my usual my little questions here, um, everything you do is pretty much you, right? Yeah. So you don't have any sort of band or, or in the studio, it's all you pretty much? Um, just a little bit of my, uh, the guy I record with, his name is Michael Binder. He sometimes will give me ideas. Um, me and him, we just also like produced a track uh, last night. I was in the studio last night with him yes. and uh, we produced one together. So I wanted uh, Rello to be on me, but it's kind of a little bit of him as well. I went down the same road on my second album, uh, Postcards from the Sun. Is pretty much all me, but the, my my engineer was also my bassist in in a rock band that I was in, and he didn't play bass on it. He's a better drummer than I was, <laughs> so he, I was like, "Hey, do you mind trying to play down some drums?" And he he did the drums on it, uh, except for hand drums, which I did. Um, shout out BJ, hey, uh, Redstone Studios. So he uh, he did that, and uh, I think he did a rain stick, but. <laughs> But it was just one of those you know your limits kind of things. Yeah, so that's exactly how it is. Yeah, because uh, for our, the first track that we have together, uh, it's called um, Blue Couch. Um, I can't play guitar at okay. all. So you know, I asked him like, "Hey, can you like play this guitar riff?" And he did that. So you know, well, I have good, to give him credit. Good producer or engineer should have at least a little bit of tools in their their, their bag. Yeah, he has a lot, a lot of tools. Michael Binder. Mm-hmm. What's the name of the studio? MGP Studios. I'm familiar with that name. Okay. I don't remember where I came across that name. Do they also have rehearsal spaces? Um, or might they go something else? Uh, probably not rehearsal spaces. Oh, yeah. I think they do, actually. Oh, yeah. They do. They All do. Right. They okay. do. Yeah. All right. Well, shout out. Um, <laughs> shout out to Michael Jean Bind. There you go. So, how long have you been in Vegas? I know you also can travel around, right? I was born and raised here. Right on. Sorry so, about that. I spent like 26 <laughs> years here. Oh. So you just dated yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been uh, doing the music? Uh, since I, I was in the fourth or the fifth grade, mm-hmm. um, I used to write about like detention and how much I like hated right, life you know. and stuff. <laughs> right, what you know. And man. then I started like writing, you know, consecular music. Is that what it's called? So say the word again. Consecular. Just secular. Secular music. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's what I... Yeah. Not religious. No. Yeah. Secular. Yeah. Okay. Secular yeah. music. Knowledge. Yes. Thank I, you I, for correcting me on that. I mean, as far as I know, <laughs> if, if someone out there hit me in the comments, uh, if consecular is a word, I, I haven't heard of it. Okay. Then again, I don't know a lot. That's yeah. my wife and kid. Same here. Uh, for fans of your EP, what's going to be different about Rello? Um, Rello is going to be one, longer. Two, um, I feel like I've gotten better with my production skills. Mm-hmm. Um... I've tried new types of music, um, more of like some slower, dreamy stuff. I'm trying a new voice as well on some of my songs. Uh, for uh, Work Shoes, the one that I think is my most popular song, 
I'm singing in like a higher voice. Now I'm singing in kind of a, like a lower. Okay, I see. A little lower octave, and uh, I still like the way it sounds. Right on. Uh, we'll take a quick break. Hey, David. The creaking. Very cool. Uh, how long? Not, not how long. Sorry. What was your earliest musical influence? How young were you when you were like, "Hey, I want to try. It. I want to do that." Um, I was nine or ten years old. Um, I was influenced by either Balboa or Romeo, mm -hmm. and I feel like I could relate to them when I was younger because you know they were kids as well. Right. And then uh, you know I didn't know that they were already born rich, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah and born into the music. So I was just like, you know, if they can do it, I can do it. So that's when right. I first started. Talk, I mean, talk about being bored with a golden mic in your mouth, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you've said in the past that your music helped you deal to process some things uh, like depression and relationships. Mm -hmm. How in-depth did you get in your writing about, or do you get in your writing about your own life? Oh, man. Sometimes I used to get too deep to where, like, it would be too real for me. Mm -hmm. And then... Like me, you hated I, performing it? I'm just thinking about the song, you know? Gotcha. Sometimes kind of just sucked. Um, it used to really keep those thoughts that I used to write about, it's, it's almost like they used to just keep them with me in my head at all times. And it wasn't a good thing. It was terrible. So I had to stop writing, um, you know, sad music. <laughs> I think the last sad song I made was A Little More Taller, which was on um, my screenshot EP. Okay. And I didn't even mean to make that song sad. It just turned out to be sad. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a few of those myself. I'm a songwriter too, and, and mm -hmm. there are times where you're just looking. I can't, I'm happily married. Mm -hmm. I have a job that pays the bills. Like I have nothing to write about anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you right. know? I don't have that that pathos. Yeah. Um, switching over real quick, more to the the um, I guess the model side of things. You talked to me about Juiced by Ken. Mm -hmm. What what's that? Juiced by Ken is my uh, juicing service. Uh, I love fresh fruit juices. Every morning, <laughs> I want to drink one every morning, um, and at night sometimes too. Um, you know, it's just it's very good for you. And uh, I started it um, twenty twenty. I had lost a lot of work, you know, because everyone else did yeah. as well. Quarantine, yeah. So I started selling fresh fresh juices to help myself get by. Now, did, was there you had to get permits or anything, or you have to? get like the government it was kind of under the table <laughs> i see I you see. know just like a little friend to friend thing i felt like i didn't really right. get out i didn't want to do it like that i didn't want to be that into it i guess, I guess you what say. i'm really asking is how how is it bottled so just you making the juice pouring in a bottle and, mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. And you can get like the the twist caps when you twist it on it locks it's sealed oh so it's it's, it's a one-way street it's it could, I, I got you. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, you're just like, here, here's a bottle of something I made. And, oh and, and, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, you sell it, and then especially you know, with COVID, you're back. just like, let's, you know. I was wondering, how do you keep, how do you guarantee uh, safety, or, or you know, I guess freshness also. So, oh well, yeah, that answers it. Well, with the freshness and uh, everything, uh, I try to make sure I was always every time when I got an order, I went out to go buy the fruit. So I never just had anything like laying down gotcha. in, the, in the fridge, you know. <laughs> good, good. good. <laughs> yeah, I you... bought everything fresh and then made it fresh, and then told people like, "Hey, yeah, like don't go more than this amount of days." Juices like that, you don't want to freeze and then thaw. And... No, 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 no. Bad really. things, bad things happen. Uh -uh. Um, and you think you'll be doing another Tentrello's Open Mic Backyard? Uh, oh, November. You know, my mom actually wanted me to do one when I came out here on this trip. Okay. Um, man, I was thinking about it, but I don't know. I'll do it again someday. But I gotta. I want to do it out here. But um, I, I kind of also had like a little. Not, I can't even say it's like a few, but the Vegas artists, just a lot of them, just don't mess with me. I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It is. It, it can be a small world, yeah. Um, yeah, I got a few of them that I think are cool, but you know, as far as me wanting to really have like a big show, mm -hmm. if it's not that, then I kind of just don't want to do it. I, I I I get the feeling. I, yeah. I, I mean, I get the. Uh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I I I have a I have a dream with this channel that someday, if you know monetization happens, pay, uh, Patreon whatever takes off, links down there. Um, 
that I will be able to put on paid showcases for you know the, the artists that have been on the show mm-hmm. and literally say, okay, I'm just going to go down the list, pick the first five, can you do it? Great. And then after that showcase, schedule another one, like maybe one, you know, a couple a year and just work my way down and give them, it, it'll give anybody that shows up to it a, a variety of audiences, a variety of bands or, or artists to see, mm-hmm. merch tables, you know, you, you'll get paid, I'll, I'll do it right, but it costs money. Yeah. And, and I need your help. <laughs> I can't afford this. I've done, you know, getting on close to 60 interviews now. I can't afford to keep putting out, you know, showcases. So I really need your help with that. Um, but moving on. Yes. <laughs> well, keep going, man. Don't, no, no. Don't stop. Just don't stop. That's, that's, you know, the goal. I'm, I'm trying to look at it like, like you know, a 70-year-old weightlifter just never stopped. Yeah. They just never stopped. Yeah. Um, and there are some out there, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, real quick question. Where did the name Kentrello come from? Well, my name is Kentrell. Uh, if we're going to go real deep in where oh, my name. Okay. Where the I name. thought it was Kent for some reason. Oh, no, it's Kentrell. Uh, oh. My grandfather's name was Kenneth, mm-hmm. and my mom named me Kentrell. Okay. And then, I don't know where I added, well, I, how do I say this? I was named Taytrells at first. That was my actual rap name when I was a kid. And then I made my Instagram 2018 or 20. Probably earlier. Why are you looking at me like I would know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I made my Instagram, and then um, I made myself Hello Contrello, and then I just kept Contrello as my name. Right on. No, it, it makes sense. I just I thought that you had added the Rello, and I was just like, where did that come from? Mm. No, no, makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, do you play any instruments? The sampler. <laughs> the sampler. No, I've seen the videos of you playing the sampler. Yeah. And, and some really nice beats on there. Um, yeah. But, any thoughts? Have you ever ever tried performing with a live band? or? No. No. Um, you know, I, I, I mess up. Even with the sampler, I feel like uh, I'm not entirely quantized. Mm-hmm. I, 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 like, I was learning like piano, but it, it became like really boring. So if you feel performance, it's just it's you and your sampler, and then um, or my beats, or you and your I mean you and your track. Yeah, you and my, me and my track. Because so. you know, people, other people play samplers too. You could have yeah. get that going. That would be cool. I've never tried it, but I feel like uh, I really have to practice a lot. Well, yeah, that's the main thing. If I'm I, just saying it brings a whole other level of, of, of hype to the show. Yeah. I'm thinking that your music would really fit fit that way. Just just yeah. my observation. I believe that uh, I just if, if I practice more, then um, I would be able to, but you know, well, that's if true I could everybody. just worry just about music, then I would definitely do that. Right on. Any, uh, how, how do I put this? How many shows have you done? Um, I'm going to, like my own shows? Yeah. As the control. one that I've thrown? Yeah. Um, probably about. Do you mind? <laughs> Was Sorry, she's impatient. <laughs> I'll, I'll rub her later. Um, I think for my own shows, I've done two. And then um, for just, man, like open mics and stuff? I don't mm-hmm. even know. I All have right. no idea. Hey, look, it's my kid. Hi, kid. Hi. Someday I'm going to have my own space for YouTubes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me and Mama. <laughs> no, we have a good relationship. It's so good that we we yeah. can get away with that. Just like I can call, I can say things to my wife that you wouldn't say to a woman if, if she was not really like sure that you didn't really mean it. Mm-hmm. But uh, we we just passed twenty one years of being together, and uh, tomorrow is nineteen years of marriage. Wow! So congratulations. Yeah, I guess we're stuck with each other. <laughs> All right. The reason I asked about the shows is I was wondering if you had a, like a really good show memory, whether you know it was just a, you could it really went well or, or it went a little bit crazy or, or what. That's all. Um. Well, about my shows, like the first show that I ever thrown for myself, uh, I always named my shows. I named it like the it was like a fresh brew series. Okay. So you get like a fresh brew of me. Like you kind of get like. Right. You kind of get it all because I used to feel like I used to just put it all into my music mm-hmm. and like just everything I was going through at that moment. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, the first show I ever had, I feel like it was... Uh, eh, it wasn't that good, no. It wasn't. The first two that I had weren't that good, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm just, you know, kind of hard on myself. Well, sure. Um, you know, once you look back, you're like, oh, my stage present could have been could have been better here or you know oh my god i cracked that note so hard and then like uh when i first did (laughs) when i did my first shows i didn't have any like uh background vocals in the track so it was me just singing and rapping over tracks it was almost like me just showing my friends my music i guess you could say gotcha but um it was well needed practice that's actually really important for you new musicians out there it's important that you actually listen and look at your performances and your rehearsals if you can, and just be, like, not, you don't have to be super critical to where you're just like, well, I'm not even going to bother, because it just sucks. Mm -hmm. But be honest with yourself, and work on it, Mm -hmm. and then, and that's how you get better, you know. Um, First time Christina Aguilera, one of her songs got played for people, it was at a high school dance, the entire floor emptied out as soon as it started playing. Mm -hmm. And she must have been crushed, but she kept playing, she kept going. Mm -hmm. No, she's a fighter. She's a survivor. I've seen that happen. It happened to me. Ah, yeah, same. <laughs> but, you know, keep going. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So, a lot of my questions don't fit with you, only because I can't ask, like, you know, what are you currently rocking on stage for gear? Oh. Any dream gear? Any, you know. So, we're, I'm jumping to the left a little bit of that, mm-hmm. and I wanted to actually talk about who is your biggest influences right now for music? You know, who, what do you listen to when you want to get jived, get, get you know, in that, that mood of either writing music or just uh, making music? Um, well, no one actually. Oh, really? It's, it's hard. Everyone always never really believes me, I guess you could say, when I say that. It's but, okay, no uh, judging. Uh, no one. Um, I, I'm influenced more of just by sounds. Okay. Because um, I don't just always make music mm-hmm. i just sometimes sit down and i'll just i'll hear a sound and then i can make a song out of it so and it's not like someone's sound off of their song it's like when i sit down and i start making music okay would you say that city sounds influence or or are more prevalent in in your mind than say nature sounds oh yeah definitely that city sounds, there's, you know, there's just certain it's, something. It, it, I feel like nature sounds, there's there's sounds, yeah, but then when there's city sounds, there's sounds that we make. We make up a bunch of right. different And a stuff. lot, almost every city has a slightly different sound. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's, it, each city has its own personality. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, I think part of that is the sound. Uh, you know, like you think about New York, first thing I think of is horn talking. Horns. People yelling. And just people talking. Yeah. And tires screeching. Mm -hmm. You know, all that. Mm -hmm. Um, Whereas, like, say, Vegas, I think the slot machines. Yeah, I feel like I hear, like, the coins. Yeah. That's what I hear. Which hasn't been been a thing in Vegas for a long time. Yeah, they don't use coins. No, they don't. And it never actually sounded like that. It's all fake. It's all just to feed that greed. Yep. Oh. Yep. They don't use coins. Where did I get that from? Because they used to, and then they, when they brought in the digital, they just put that fake sound in there. Mm-hmm. But if you listen to that versus real coins getting dis- uh, dispensed, it night and day, like yeah. Plus, there's something about having a bucket of coins, man. Like, yeah. but that was a thing. And I don't know if you remember, but um, you used to literally have a bucket of token tokens or coins mm-hmm. walking around. And you'd feed them, and then they'd come out, and you'd be like, have your bucket there, trying. If you won like a lot, you try to catch them before they all fall out. Mm-hmm. And if you're not paying attention, someone can come by and grab your bucket. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a yeah. thing. Yeah, it sounds like uh, Chuck E. Cheese to me. That's what <laughs> reminds me of. Yes. Yeah. Chuck E. Cheese doesn't even do tokens anymore. They don't? Nope. Man. It's, I been it's all digital. Like, they don't even do physical tickets anymore. Do they have, There's like, a app. card? An app? Or no, I'm sorry. I think it's a card. I think it's a card. Yeah, okay, it's lame. Okay. It's lame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I miss, sorry. I miss going to places like that, man. Ooh. I wish I could go back and just be a kid. You miss, you miss Chuck E. Cheese? Really? Yeah, kind of. All right, but but I digress. Mm-hmm. We've gone down the rabbit hole. So, uh, and we're gonna you gonna do a song for us? Is that right? Oh, definitely. Cool. This will so be my very first one on this channel of someone doing a, a song to a track. I'm excited, mm-hmm. and uh, I want to thank thank the uh, Patreon people that did help me get the the mixer I'm going to be using today. Mm-hmm. 
thanks for that. We're almost done. Good job. Oh, thank you. Yes. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's say so, uh, some you know some young kid comes up to you mm -hmm. after a show, says, "How do I be like you?" You know, uh, what's one piece of advice that you wish someone had given you when you were first starting to think about making music and getting into it? Talk, there's your audience. Talk to them. <laughs> uh, well, I feel like um, I've really gotten really much of anywhere. But uh, I guess the main piece of information that I can give is to soak up as much information as you can. Uh, be organized with yourself. Um, make a bucket list. Make a spreadsheet of things that you have to do. And make sure you tackle each and every single one of those. That's one of my main um, pieces of advice. I agree. Um, I, I, dreams are just goals that haven't been realized. Yeah. And you can't have, if you don't know what your goals are, you know, you got to write it down. Um, even for this channel, I've, I've got a list of currently, I think, eight things that I'm in the middle of either. I got to write scripts for, I got to record, I got to edit, I got to, you know, schedule it to be posted. But I, if, I, if I didn't have it written out, forget mm -hmm. about it, you know. Um, and it's, I, you can't think it's going to come to you. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Chesney Clare was, was on the show um, a couple of interviews ago, and she had a good point. She, she advised, stay on top of your social media game. Don't slack, because that is, that's the game now, you know. It isn't selling, uh, you know, tapes out of your, your trunk anymore. It isn't going down to the strip and trying to, like, sell CDs. Um, that's it's, annoying, too. Oh, well, yeah, but you know what? Kudos to them for, you know, hustling. I, I, I respect the hustle. Mm, it depends. If you got the time... It depends on their attitude, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 that's different. I'm, that's different. Like, they, yeah. Some of them, they may as well be handing out cards with girls on them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, I, 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 I respect the, the buskers, the ones, do, you know, performing down there. Um, but, but, uh, again, so I just tangent. So stay on top of your media game, soak up anything you can learn. Nobody knows it all. No, no. And, um, and stick around. Controllo is going to perform for us. Yay. Remember to be amazing. And, uh, we'll see you upstairs in room six in just a minute. Say bye. Peace. Man, we be cruising out here, you know what I'm saying, man? Just cruising. Girlie on side. Vibe. If you're from the East Coast, hands up high, baby. If you're from the North Side, hands to the sky, baby. If you're from the West Coast, maybe we can ride with the top down. Said you ready, girl, so what's up now? Seasons in the play. I've been getting lifted by the day. Skip the grave. Weather out here feeling like it's May, so tell me what you say. You can catch me in the streets though. Top down, head bobbing to the beat. I'm five out, got a shorty here with me. You see the crowd, we be moving around. I just slow down. You can catch me in the streets though. Top down, head bobbing to the beat. I'm five out, got my shorty here with me. You. Nutrient the soda, time to soak up all the energy Used to be depressed, almost feel like I was living Things are looking up, reminisce about the simple days It's that new song, let it play, it go If you're from the east coast, hands up high If you're from the north side, hands to the sky But if you're from the west coast, maybe we can ride we can Top down, said you ready girl, so what's up now? Seasons in the play I've been getting lifted by the day Mood is filled with color, skip the gray Weather out here feeling like it's May So tell me what you say You can catch me in the streets though Top down, head bobbing to the beat I'm five out, got my shorty here with me You see the crown, we be moving around No chance of slowing down You can catch me in the streets though Top down, head bobbing to the beat Shorty here with me, you see the crowd. We be moving round, but you slowing down. Listen, manifest.
against my wishes I be tunneling my vision in I set myself wide away and it's drifting yeah. so Take me anywhere, I'm trying to hit and get it back I want to thank Ken Trello for coming by. It was a great interview and a great performance. And if you want to get more of that, click the link down below. You can get your own version of the EP uh, s screenshot. Yes. And the you'll also be able to follow him on uh, social media so you'll know when the full-length album, Rello, drops. Mm -hmm. right? December 18th. And, oh, right on. I look forward to reviewing it. Oh, thank you. No yeah. pressure. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, if you want to be on the channel, want to be reviewed or interviewed, hit me up down there as well. If you'd like to support the channel, whether it's room6.shop, the merch, or, um, you know, Patreon, buy some one of my CDs, something, it will all go towards the showcase we talked about. It will all go towards the local Las Vegas music scene uh, and making better videos. So I really appreciate you. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it really does make a difference. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified when videos like this get posted. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say bye. Peace. Later.